How's it going, everybody? This is Be The Bush. Today, I'm gonna go to a Target and resist buying anything. People usually only need one thing at a Target and they walk out with a whole cart full of stuff. For me, I just don't understand why they do this because I have all kinds of reasons why I don't buy a certain item. So today, I'm gonna walk through the entire Target, look at all kinds of products that are very, very tempting to buy and go through my thought process on how I avoid doing that. All right, let's get going and then there. This video is brought to you by Moomoo, the free stock trading app. You can get up to 17 free shares of stock for opening up an account and depositing various amounts of money. This costs you nothing and it can help out my channel greatly. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. When you walk in, you see this $1 section, right? I never stop here. I'm not sure what this is. It says hand pruner, but it's not. It's like a little fuzzy rabbit thing. I don't need that. Lots of home goods and you guys know, I don't really decorate my place, so I have no need for a lot of this stuff. $20 for 20 batteries? $1 each? Well, I mostly buy rechargeables. We're at the men's clothing section and you can see that I've been wearing the same sweater for a really, really long time. It's like, hey, how come it's not dirty, right? Well, I wash it. Many times I just save up credit card points and get free Banana Republic stuff. So I haven't really had a need to buy any clothes. Here's a lot of storage options and I just walk right by this. In fact, I tend to even sell some of my storage options like boxes and things on Facebook Marketplace. People think that you can get organized just by buying more storage option. But what happens is when you buy it, it just gets piled onto the walls. You just have more and more stuff. What you need to do is get rid of stuff if you want to organize. Bunch of Keurig coffee machines, 44 K cups for $35, like 75 cents each cup. At least they have this kind of stuff where it's reusable instead of this environmental hazard, all these one-time use plastic and foil cups. I look at this towel stuff and I laugh. My towel is discolored, but it still works. Usually I just use things until they are completely, completely broken before I discard it. Good for the environment, saves you lots of money. Their section on soda streams, get this bottle of CO2. This is quite expensive. I actually have one as well. And if you really use it a lot, you should really think about getting a conversion kit using like the big jug of CO2. Cool, they actually have the Henkels brand. I think this is Henkels. Yeah, this little guy right here. If you buy a good quality set, it'll last you a lifetime if you take care of it. So. I never need to buy knives ever. Like the last time I bought it was like 10, 15 years ago. Lots of non-stick pan options. Never rest another pot on top of your non-stick pot because it's gonna scratch it up. Don't use metal utensils on it. Don't overheat it. Go to about level six heat maximum. Mine has lasted about two years. And you gotta think of these non-stick pans as consumables after you use it for about two years, three years or so, you just gotta toss it and get a new one. What the heck is that? <laughs> Stained glass LED light. That actually sounds fun, but only for a minute. Video games, got Nintendo Switches and stuff, but I found myself not needing to play any more video games after I'm like, I think past about 30, 35 or so, I just stopped playing it as much. I think it's great for a short period of time. You just get entertained, like watching a movie or so. But when you play more than that, like three to four hours a day, it acts like a mental pacifier, sort of like if you watch too much Netflix or Korean dramas or whatever like that. It makes you a lot less productive. For every product category, you can probably get something that is very, very good. And then when you look at everything on the shelf, you're like, oh, that is not as good as the one I already have. I don't actually have, you know, a really, really high quality water bottle or anything. I just have one of those Nalgene things. My TV is intentionally small because I don't want to spend too much time in front of the TV. It's only 42 inches. You know, these things, they're like 55, 60, 75 inches these days, and they're not that expensive. Hey, this is not bad. This looks just like my Muji one. Actually pretty good if I needed one. It's a little bit longer than mine. It's also not the right color I would get it in. Long time ago, all the luggages are not on four wheels, but nowadays, every single luggage is four wheels. So they're all rollers now and not very expensive. This video is not sponsored by Target. Always like to go hang out at the nerve section. I just like looking at little 
nerf dart guns. Oh, I actually want one of these, huh? You know, I would get one of these if my girlfriend lets me shoot her, but then she gets really angry, so I can't even play with that. Like, who, what do you shoot, right? I always like looking at the Lego section and see what else they got new. Bugatti car, Star Wars, Harry Potter stuff. That looks kind of neat. It's like a small set. Still $60 though. Unfortunately, I lost interest in playing with these things. Last time I bought a really, really big set and as I was assembling it, I was just like kind of not very enthusiastic about it anymore. I don't know why. Sometimes you get into a hobby and after a while, you're just not interested in it anymore. I guess what's more fun for me is making these videos. Is this really that addictive? You pop it, popping like those plastic wrap things. Look at that, this is the first time I've seen it at Target. A pottery wheel studio. You can reenact ghost. Wear it on these backyard chairs. They go through significant UV damage. So I tend to not buy them because they disintegrate as long as you leave it in the yard. All the weather pour on it, the sun hits it. I guess they might be durable enough. Some of them are, but for me, I just stop buying them altogether and just don't have any seats out in the yard to degrade. If I want to sit out there, I bring some indoor seat and bring it out there. So outdoor seats, no, including these kind of chairs too. So it's a way to save money, I guess, because then you don't have to keep on buying chairs after they break. You keep on buying and buying, right? Don't get me started on candy. Candy is empty calories. I don't eat much candy. Maybe like one to three teaspoons worth of sugar content per day in the form of chocolate. This Cadbury stuff, I am so, 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 so tempted, but it's a dollar. I kind of like it, but it's really, really sweet for each one of them. One piece is 22 grams. Two of them is like a can of soda, so significant sugar in there. Bunnies, I think they're empty, right? They're probably hollow, I think. You know what's rich? Is having a pet because you have to spend a lot of money on all this junk, including the vet bills and stuff. So if you're too cheap to have a pet, then you can reduce your expenses. Look at this, cat litter. You have to pay for your pet to poo. I think this is a lot more expensive than toilet paper. So their cost of pooing each time is way more than you as a human. I pretty much stopped buying a lot of the cleaners because for me, when I spray it, it aerosolizes it and I really don't want to breathe that in. So anything that is an aerosol sprayer, I don't really want to get. The exception being Windex, but I make my own. I'd say the one cleaner I would buy is probably detergent for your clothes. No laundry sheets, they cause damage to your neural system. Oh, I forgot, and probably dish soap too. We are at the mayo section. Do you guys know what mayo is made out of primarily? It's oil. You're just buying a can of oil and egg whites. Water, soybean oil, modified food starch. That's what it's mainly made out of. If you make it yourself, you still use a lot of oil though. As an Asian person, we just don't really use mayonnaise. It's not part of the cooking culture. Beer. Lots and lots of beer. I used to buy a lot more, but I started realizing that beer does nothing good for you. It's a relaxant, so you can relax with it, but then it, health-wise, it's not good at all. Even red wine is not good. So probably moderation is best, but for me, I'm like, I, I totally cut it out. Many people will just pass over. I never see anyone go here is sockeye salmon filet. You don't want the farmed one. You want the Alaska sockeye one, not even the keto one because the sockeye one has 16, 60 milligram of fatty acids. This one has a little bit less. It's still good, but then this one is better. Uh, for the same price, of course, you want to go for that one, but only 16 ounces on this one, but you got 24 ounces in this one. Frozen vegetable is not in my vocabulary. They taste horrible and I'd rather just buy fresh vegetables and cook it every time. Every single meal I make fresh vegetables. How I make my meals, a quarter plate of it is meat, a quarter is starch, half of it is vegetables. Maybe you have some beef, pork, chicken, but probably better to have some fish instead or tofu. Starch, you can have potatoes, rice, pasta. Half the volume is vegetables. You can get pretty much anything. Just eat everything and rotate through all of it. You might also think about fruits, which I will have maybe one or two servings per day. There you have it. I didn't get tempted by anything. I would buy some eggs, but they don't have any today. 
they have the more expensive one. I just want to buy some cheap ones, not for eating, but for testing. And the butter seems a little expensive for just one of these bars. Honestly, while I'm here, I feel like I should buy something, you know, just to make the most of my trip. So I'm actually trying to think of something I need. I bought a can about this big before, but I think I only finished like that much like less than even the smallest can. A strategy would be to make sure you actually eat it before buying a giant bottle. Like actually go through eating the smallest bottle first. And if you go through like two or three of them, it's like, okay, get the big one. I haven't bought paper plates for like 10 years. It seemed to last forever. I still have a whole bunch of them in my cupboard. Funny thing about trash bags is I just use the plastic bags from my shopping trips. You know, the tiny ones for your produce like these? Well, yeah, I use these for my trash bags. Actually, pens might be obsolete now if you really think about it. Who writes with an actual pen anymore? Very, very rarely, right? I feel more rarely now than before because now you just type in your phone, you send it digitally, you send emails and stuff. You don't need pens. Same goes with paper, but yeah, there's a small need for it. Maybe you wanna take notes, write in a notebook or something, but the needs have definitely reduced quite a bit if you go digital, type in your computer instead of writing on a piece of paper. Junk food, super high in salt. I'm sort of immune to ice cream. I don't have like a huge urge to eat ice cream all the time like some people. I don't know why I'm weird like that. And you know, here, here's more pizza all very, very high in salt. I remember looking through them. It's very rare that they use very little salt in these uh, frozen pizza stuff. Usually when I go shopping, I buy around the perimeter. I don't buy all these processed foods that's in a box, in a can, and all this other stuff in a jar even, or anything that has been wrapped in plastic. This is pre-packaged. You know, I've been looking for this thing called Neutrogena Visibly Even with SPF, but it's nowhere to be found. After the pandemic, it seems like they don't sell it anymore. This is the checkout line. I am not tempted by this at all. Or these sugary sodas. I don't drink those. You have a Starbucks coffee over here. Actually, I just had a coffee today from my own coffee machine, made my own latte. Hope you guys enjoy the thinking process of this, of you know how to shop at Target and not buy anything. I do this routinely, actually. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.